That's loud. Hello everyone, I am Jaunts, and this is the Friendly Mix semifinals against J Nails and S, S Smart. Um, so I'm just trying to finish setting up here real quick, and I believe we're good to go. All right, let's take a look at the kingdom. We got some uh, all sorts of stuff, all sorts of stuff. We have, um, well, we've got draw, we've got actions, we've got buys, we've got seize the day. Uh, we've got everything you could hope for. Trashing. Trashing is the other thing we have that I meant to say but did not. Uh, I have no idea who goes first here. I'm just jumping in. Jumping into the thing. Uh, I mean, I could check for them if they'd like. If I'm looking... Friendly Mix, where are you? I'm seeing... Um, oh boy. Where am I going? It looks like S Smart is ranked is 7th seed, J Nails is 6th seed, yes. Okay. <laughs> Uh, this is correct. They can't hear me, um, and I can't message them in, in the client here, but it looks like they figured it already, so. Good to go. Uh, this board looks like you want to open with a Masquerade, probably Masquerade Magpie. You can maybe argue for Masquerade Silver, but I think it's just Magpie. Um, I don't think hitting... I don't think hitting five is all that important, so I'm okay opening with the the slightly higher, slightly lower five chance um, to draw better or gain more magpies. It looks like they both do open with magpie masquerade. Um, this board, you're looking to play a bunch of bridges. Uh, Seize the day is going to be really, really good here, um, and it's going to make the end game exceptionally complicated because um, you're going to be able to do quite a bit with Seize the day. Um, being able to take two turns on a... Because this is the sort of board that accelerates very quickly with bridges. Um, and as it accelerates really, really fast, being able to seize the day and getting an extra turn is um, a lot more beneficial than on many boards where you can take an extra turn. Uh, second four here. I wonder if you're ready for just... Um, there's no discarding here for Village Green, correct? I don't think anything discards. So it's... Blessed Village is probably better uh, in general. Uh, JN misses the Masquerade, which is quite unfortunate. S Smart hits three, hits two coppers, which is pretty bad actually. I mean, I guess Settlers is better than nothing, but it's not super exciting. Um. All right, but being missing missing your Masquerade is always a pretty sad thing to happen. Uh, hitting five here looks like I don't know if you want one of the five costs right now. I'm not sure you do. The build order here is really really tricky. I think. Um, Blessed Village is definitely reasonable, and obviously you hold back a copper if you're going to take Blessed Village. I don't know if I'm ready for one of the five costs. Um, it's unclear to me. Three is, three is kind of a really sad number. Like, there's so many good fours, and hitting three is just very sad. Um, I might take another Settlers. I don't think I want Silver, like, ever here. Second Masquerade. Second Masquerade is fine as long as he gets a Village at some point. But right now he's a bit over-terminaled. Uh, Hunt versus Swash is... Unclear to me what's better. Um, Hunt has the slight advantage of being able to score at the very... Um, at the very end. Yeah, Second Mask is definitely pretty good. I think they're they're both a little over-terminaled for my tastes right now. Um... 
going to be it's fine. So again, it's like four here should be blessed. Seems pretty good for four cost. You can top deck the top deck the blessed too. Oh no, sorry, that's a sun's gift. Um, the discard one. That's even better, significantly better. All right. So if you're taking villages, um, I don't, I don't know if I would have. I guess in like a third is a third masquerade okay? Maybe third masquerade's okay. It's not awful. Draw is draw. Well, if you're gonna take the settlers, you shouldn't have played all your copper just in case, in case you get Earth Gift. Like you just play, you hold one copper back just in case for Earth or Flame. Um. Well, I think it's bridge time. I would assume. And bridge time it is. So Esmer's drawn pretty well here. Finds the Blessed Village and Wild Hunt again. Um, do we trigger this? I think we absolutely trigger this, right? Yeah, no, this is a very, very easy trigger right here. Um, yeah, I think it's. I think triggering is a pretty simple decision. Um, I'm not sure what I want here now. I might consider a Blessed Village or a Bridge. Both of them sound reasonable to me. Maybe Bridge is fine. I think Bridge is fine. And eh, Blessed Village is fine too. Sky's Gift doesn't do anything. Um, Smart's drawn real well here. Maybe too well. You 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 would you would have hoped to get like an extra magpie or something instead of just drawing all your copper there, but that's all fine. Uh, I think you just play your bridge pretty obviously here. Yeah, I want to take like Blessed Village Bridge right now. Um, don't play all your don't play all your copper. Hold some copper back. Don't play them all. Don't play them all. Undo. 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 Ah, oh, see what you've done. Look what you've done. Um, I don't like that wild hunt at all. I think just like another bridge was better. I think you have plenty of draw at this point. I mean, not, I mean, good enough draw, I should say. Why are they buying? <sighs> all right, listen, guys. I mean, I guess if you buy the settlers, it's okay. But you probably want a peddler and said, stop. Stop playing all your coppers when you buy, buy Blessed Village. It's like rule number one about Blessed Village is only play as much as you need. You still haven't seen Earth's Gift. Um, no, that's, that's Fight Club. Oh no, I talked about Fight Club. Um, yeah, this is looking pretty good. Keep thinning copper for sure. Um, at this point, the draw situation is fine. I would be looking to pick up, like, bridges and villages in tandem at this point, more or less. Um, depending on your terminal balance. Don't play all the coppers. Don't undo. Undo that right now. Don't you dare. If you buy Blessed Village, I'm going to be so mad at you when you hit Earth's Gift. I guess another another bridge is actually perfectly fine as well. Um, JN has a good number of villages, so I could see another bridge um, being being preferable to a another village. Still has a decent number of junk cards though. There's still four coppers in the state I'm looking at. Um, so could definitely thin. Well, I guess two masquerades is probably sufficient to keep thinning from this point. Uh, Esmar only ever got one Masquerade. I think that's a little dicey. I think you... I think you really... Um, want a second Masquerade at some point on this board. I think one Masquerade trashing isn't quite fast enough. Eh, it's the silver. It's the, it's, it's the curse, the curse boon. 
Oh, this can make a really, really sad, um, really sad masquerade pass if they find it. What do you pass on the masquerade? I guess the magpie, right? I, I guess you pass magpie. Mm, you can't pass a village. You can't pass your mask. It has to be magpie, I think. Sorry, I had to fix my aspect ratio a little bit. <laughs> um, so Smart definitely needs another bridge, and I guess another village as well. So I'm going to guess bridge village here is the buy. Uh, piles are getting, uh, not low, but they're lowering. Again, Seize the Day makes this endgame very complicated. Um, stop playing all your coppers! Stop it! Uh, yeah, the, the the first wild hunt also doesn't actually look that great to me either, but the second one definitely looks bad. So the, here's where we count to see if JN can win this turn. Um, let's see, he currently has two bridges, right? This might be a win. It's hard. To, it's really hard to say. Well, I'm gonna, okay, sorry. When I say turn, I mean, I mean with seize the day. Um, no, that, I don't think that's good enough to do it. Yeah, that's not good enough right there. I think if if Jayen had drawn deck, I believe it might have... Two, four... No, no, they were short. Never mind. It wasn't possible. Yeah. Um, a little a little, a little, little short on uh, Kane's there. But certainly get... Um, certainly get another bridge, right? Wild Hunt? No, I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't like what they're doing exactly. Well, scoring's really easy, right? Because... Well, maybe not really easy. One of those blessed villages could give you a wisp. That scores too. Um, the, the the gain the gains was hey, 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 the gains were definitely limited. Um, did he not take a bridge? Really, wild hunt peddler? That's so weird to me. I'm really confused by what like J Nails is doing there. Like I, you need more gains on this board. You can't you can't not take bridges, right? Um, I think J Nails. Yeah, but I'm not that concerned. Like, I, Wild Hunt does not seem to like the plan. Like, not taking a bridge seems really bad to me. Uh, you need to be increasing your gain situation, because Seize the Day makes this end game very, very fast if you have a few extra gains to work on. I think he's gotten a little unlucky. I think he's. I think that Wild Hunt was an overreaction to like a bad draw. Um, that's that's my personal feelings on that. Also, he has plenty of terminal space. He could have done like um, he could have like bridge masquerade. Like like masquerade draws almost as good as Wild Hunt does, and you could have taken a bridge and a masquerade. Hmm. I think he's. Fairly close to drawing, like, sure. I I don't know. The, the wild hunt's not inspiring at all. I wanted I wanted I wanted a bridge there for sure though. Yeah, settlers could draw. He also got a little bit unfortunate because he's he lost um he lost uh two good cards to um to masquerade passes, which is pretty rough. Well, he didn't know he was gonna lose the second card. He only, lost, he only knew he was losing the first card when he bought things last turn. Anyway, I think not buying a bridge was a mistake. That's that's all I'm trying to say. Um, I think... Now, S-Smart has some terminal problems. S-Smart definitely has some terminal problems right now. Another Masquerade. Masquerade's fine. Uh, there's more villages down there, right? Like you don't have to draw here. You could stop. I mean, this is all of your gains. I don't know if I don't know what the benefit of drawing is. I mean, you get an extra trash possibly. Like there's some benefits to drawing, but you could also consider not drawing. Uh, this worked out 
pretty well, though. Not finding a village there would have been pretty, pretty bad. Um, I assume you draw here. I'm not really caring about the four points. Does not sound all that exciting to me. And it's definitely not worth not drawing for it. All right. So now we need to... All right, can he win here? Like, if he takes bridge, bridge, seize. No, that's, that's not too many terminals. Um, bridge, blessed, seize, and then that's not enough gains. Mm, I don't think there's enough to win here. Technically, bridge, bridge, seize could win, but that would be... I, don't, I wouldn't want to blow my seize of the day right now on, like, an off chance. Um, then again, S smart with a seize could also win on his turn, so maybe you have to risk it? It's not entirely clear to me. It's really not entirely clear to me if he has to risk this or not. Um, he needs to get really lucky though to win if on a seize the day here with bridge bridge. Wait, can he? No, hold on. Am I counting wrong? He only has five gains. Oh no, I'm counting wrong. There's still, yeah, no, that's exactly enough. Yeah, he can do it. Um, it's really tricky because um. Well, because if Esmart draws here, has the extra bridge, Esmart can pretty convincingly win with a seize of the day, right? Um, but that means he can't play... Well, he could still technically... I think, I, I think he has to go for it. I think he has to go for it here. Um, like, I, I think... He is going for it. Cool. I like it. I like that play. I think he has to do it. Because I think um, S. Smart very likely wins on his turn. Or their turn. I don't know. Proper pronouns for S. Smart. Um, just needs to find all the bridges. Alright. That's the last... No, no. Um, JN can play two of the draw cards. But that's it. No, don't pass your Masquerade. You need that Masquerade. Oh, I don't like passing the Masquerade there. Um, he's allowed to play one more, one more non-bridge terminal. No, I guess this is fine. Is he gonna get there? Not quite. It's getting close though. Um, I think he passed the copper here. But this state, well, this state only scores. I guess he passed copper. This is really close. He needs to find that fourth bridge before he finds the uh, the wild hunt. Um, yeah, the, the pass here doesn't matter that much. I think, well, not a state though, right? Doesn't a state score too many points for S Smart? Well, it loses Jay in three points. 18. I, does, does S Smart have an, how many states are in the trash? Five. No, you can't pass a state. Uh, passing a state is, is losing. Guys has to find the bridge. Let's see if it is there. Ah, oh, he missed it. That's a shame. Um, that's a shame. Didn't get there. Well, I just did the math real quick, and... Well, he can't try... What, what does he try for? Oh, what is... Um, what... What boon? Is, is four still here? Oh, actually, no, yeah. I think he, um... Earth... Earthskit is still there, too, right? I think Earth is still there. I think Earth and Forest are still there, so I guess you go for it, right? Just go for it? Like, you can't you can't let S Mark get a turn here, right? Isn't giving him a turn basically losing? No, Wisp isn't doing it. Come on. There's two... Are, are, wait, aren't two of these three boons useful? Forest, he found it! Woo! He got there. Um, in the Wisp scores. I think there was a... I think two of those two of those last three boons um, were enough. But yeah, he got there. Um, I think that was well played at the end there. I think Jay Nails had to go for it. Um, 
and he got there. Yeah, like that's a pretty good bet to go for it. Unless I, as far as I can remember, I think Forest and Earth were still there. Yeah, like the, the, the odds were pretty good at that point. All right, first. Uh, first goes to J Nails. A hard fought win. So this board's got stuff. Stuff going on. Traveling fairs, buys, farmers markets, buys, temples, trashing, lab, encampment stuff. Um, salt the earth makes the game a little bit faster. So I'm I'm assuming you open temple here. Um, I can't see any reason not to open temple on this board. I'm a little tempted to open fool actually, but maybe just border guard temple is the is the more sane play. Border guard temple is definitely the more sane play. Um, encampment temple is also not crazy. Um. Esmer has the option to not play this lucky coin. I think you do. I think silver is fine. Like, the, the five costs are pretty good. So, like, silver border guard temple seems like, like a totally reasonable open to me. Yeah, I think you take the silver. Hitting five is, is too good to not... Uh, to not give it a shot. But you still open temple. I mean, you're not so looking forward to hitting five that you skip temple open. Um, I would assume labs first. Like, your first five is probably lab here. Um, cities will eventually be pretty good. I, I imagine cities will activate for sure, but not for some time. Alright, so there's four. Um, you could... You could traveling fair up border guard here as S-Smart. Um... Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Peddlers will probably go here uh, with Traveling Fair. I'm going to assume you top deck a Border Guard here, although that does trigger a Shuffle, but maybe it's fine. Um, it's not entirely clear to me, but it's, it seems fine. Oh, no, you won't trigger... Never mind. You won't, you won't, uh, you won't trigger a Shuffle. That's... Okay, if you're not triggering a Shuffle, it's, it seems very preferable to top deck the Border Guard. Um, and same thing for J Nails. Top deck Border Guard here seems fine. Yeah, no, no, no. Um, you don't alternate. You start with labs and switch to city at some point. It's just a question of how many labs before cities. Um, it's possible that number is zero, but I doubt it. Oh, no, I open a tab. Go away. Um, I mean, do you trash Lucky Coin? Probably not. I think Lucky Coin is still pretty good. I'm going to take another Border Guard. Border Guards are pretty good here. Maybe you can trash Lucky Coin now. Yeah, no, my, my silver, silver seems fine for at least a little bit. I, I would play this Lucky Coin here as J Nails. Uh, I would probably just top deck another border guard. Um, just get all your border guards, cycle through to your temple, play it s something. Well, yeah, that all seems fine. Um, here you take a silver. I think you. Um, I think you do trash this copper here as S smart. I think you crash Copper Estate and just top deck another Border Guard. That seems fine to me. I guess you could also just buy a Peddler. Maybe buy a Peddler is better than top deck Border Guard. That's a little unclear to me. I don't think you keep. I don't think a lab is worth keeping Copper around for. Um. Like I think. Yeah. No. I don't. I don't like that. I don't like keeping the Copper to get a lab.
As J Mills, I might not play this lucky coin here and just buy a lab. Um, I assume two BGs is a lot worse than lab. Uh, the only benefit to BGs is it makes peddlers cheaper, but I think lab just does the good stuff better than that. Um, well, J Nails disagrees with me, so what do I know? I'm not. I don't think that's a better option. BGs can run out, and they will, I guess. Um, I'm not, I think that lab there could have easily been a city at this point, but I guess lab is still fine. Um, yeah, if you're, if you're JN, you're just cycling through your deck as much as possible here. Try to find the good stuff. Like here, I think I just take two peddlers, right? Trash, trash tube, take two peddlers. Seems fine to me. Trash two and take two peddlers seems pretty solid. Sorry, did I say two? I meant three. Uh, three is the number of peddlers you can take. And they all go on top too, which is pretty nice. Um, ugh, no, I really don't like that border guard. Over two, border guard over two peddlers seems pretty bad to me, doesn't it? That seems really bad to me, actually. Um... Maybe he just really wanted the top deck of Border Guard to trigger this shuffle. What's what's left in this deck right here? Is it all junk? If it's all junk, I can see taking the Border Guard just to trigger the shuffle being okay. So maybe maybe that's fine. Um, do we want to kill this Lucky Coin? Probably not. I think Lucky Coin is still fine. Uh, City now is probably preferable to Lab. I'm not sure I'd play that lucky coin, though. I, I mean, I want silver later, but I don't know if I want silver now. Or we're just going to get um, a bunch of peddlers? I guess that's also completely reasonable. Uh, yes, I was because I think the economy is helpful later, but I wanted to make sure I'm drawing a little bit better next shuffle. Like, I don't think the silver does anything next shuffle, but it's the economy gain is going to be useful going forward is my kind of thought process on that. This is a very unfortunate turn for JN. So I guess the yeah, the border guard there definitely had some some merit given that he was about to have a crap turn. Um Farmer's Market is totally reasonable here. It's it's definitely cheaper to get buys off farmer market farmer's market than off of um traveling fair. Uh, the other option is you could just take, like, a bunch of peddlers here as well. You could just, um... Um... Oh, wait, no, the peddlers aren't... Never mind, sorry. Uh, peddlers are only costing... Cost two here. I thought I was thinking they were free, but... Nope, they are not. Okay, forget, forget the peddlers, that's terrible. Um, I... Yeah, I guess farmer's market's fine. Um, somebody's making noise. Uh, Awoid, if you could mute yourself, please. Thanks. Um, well, this is looking like a really solid turn here. Uh, S Smart seems to be pretty firmly in the lead. I don't know about that Janiel's taking Temple last turn. That Temple didn't really inspire me too much. How much money is this? 10-11? Um, yeah, he could take a city and, like, four peddlers. Can he? Or no, city and three peddlers could be okay. I think I want a city at some point. City and three peddlers sounds fine to me. And now you're just daring JN to empty a pile. Um, I don't know how JN wins this game, to be honest. 
Uh, I don't think he does, I guess is the thing. Well, sure, S S Mark. I mean, I don't usually assume my opponent's going to misplay, or um, when I'm thinking about possible ways to win the game. But yes, misplays are always an answer. How do you win the game? I think this is just a... S uh, he trashed Lucky Coin? Ooh, he's activating the city? I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Um, I don't, I don't think those buys were, I, I, I think Jayan should have just bought a city there, um, and not did what he did. Oh, border guard flipping, flipping peddlers. Is that the first of the, um, that's the first of the artifacts that got taken, isn't it? Interesting. Kind of expected it to happen earlier. Um, are we triggering this shuffle? I guess we are, right? There's... Um, it's like mostly peddlers down there, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's, I think, like, there's no way that this makes you worse off to trigger, right? Yeah, yeah, this is all fine. Definitely play, definitely play Border Guard. Um, I can't see any reason not to play this Border Guard. I mean, I can't see any good reason not to play this border guard. I guess, I guess that's my better, the better way of phrasing that. <laughs> um, I could see animal fair. Maybe. Okay, maybe animal fair. All right, so this is fourteen coins. Um. You could buy some traveling fare. I mean, I'm assuming you're top taking some cities here at least. All right. I mean, yeah. Okay. Animal fare is the only reason I can think of to hold this hold this border guard around. Um, and that's actually not unreasonable. It's a plus buy already. It might be plus two buys soon. Um, Smart could take like a border guard here. Take the border guard. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's actually kind of spicy. Um, that gives him two three, five buys. I give him five buys without traveling fare right now, um, which sounds like a pretty easy way to win. I mean, he could definitely just pile estates or something. Um, top to animal fare is fine. I'm going to assume S Smart can take eight estates here is my thought process right now. Maybe not. It's a little tight, maybe. Maybe he can hit eight, hit eight estates. We'll find out. Uh, needs to find out their city for sure. Oh, there it is. All right, almost almost done it there. Bottom deck a lot of draw. Okay, so what is this? Is this a win? Um, 13, 21, 22, 23, 24, it costs 16, plus you need to spend for three buys is, is six. 22, yeah, that's enough, yep, that's enough. Okay, he's got enough. That's a win. Um, with an extra, an extra buy to spare. There we go. GG. Well played. So, player one um, wins both times so far. Yes. 
So, do they play, um, is it first to three wins? Is that correct? I, I, don't, I don't actually remember the format here. I think it's first to three wins, if I'm not misremembering. Um, ooh, Lurk, Lurker Goat Herd is going to be a fun little combo, isn't it? Um, Esmarth gets the 4-3, the which I assume is just better than the 3-4. Maybe it doesn't matter. It might not matter. Um, I assume Goat Herd is pretty... Oh, no. You could open Silk Merchant Goat Herd. Goat Herd's probably not going to draw you very well early on, though, unfortunately. Um... But it's just like a non-terminal trash. Yeah, Goat Herd does um, does counter Lurker very well, for sure. Um, but looking at the board, I'm you got tower points. You got um, you got Silk Merchant stacks. You got Horn of Plenty. You got Hunting Parties. Um, I assume you're playing with all of that in some in some amount. Um, I could see Goat Herd Silk Merchant. I could also, uh, could also see Silver Silk Merchant on open. Um, I could see Double Silk Merchant on open for S-Smart. That doesn't sound crazy to me. Uh, Silver Sil Silk is definitely fine. So the problem with Goat Herd is it's basically just nothing for the first shuffle, other than, like, a worse Forager. Or, I guess Forager is usually a worse Forager on, on the opening shuffle anyway. Um, but sometimes just, like, non-terminally trashing an estate is okay for a card to open with. Um, silver, the nice thing about silver is hunting parties are really, really good here. Um, but they're both going with the, with the goat herd, which I think, I think that's fine. That seems totally reasonable to me. Um... Waiting on J Nails to do something. I mean, yes, play the Silk, obviously. Um, I would take... Maybe a Silver now is fine. I don't want to spend this Coffer, because I want to maximize my chances of hitting hitting 5 next turn, so I don't think I want to... Unless you want to buy Silk. I guess you could buy Silk. Maybe buy Silk is, is fine. Um, either Silk or Silver, I think. Um, oh, it's forcing his Goat Herd. Um, two Lurkers? That's interesting. I don't think I like that. Um, you're, you're powering up his Goat Herd, which is a little dicey. Um, I think as Esmar, I probably want to buy a Silk Merchant here. And they do, yes. I like it. Um, so it looks like S-Smart gets to get a card draw here, which is nice. Um, I would trigger this shuffle. There's a Silk Merchant in it. I think this is fine to play the Silk Merchant. Um, yeah, I guess you play this one too now. And this looks like a pretty easy hunting party. You could consider hunting party Lurker just to... Ugh, I don't know. I don't really want the Lurker. What? No, what? No, what? What? What is that? I'm I'm legitimately confused as to what I just saw happen. I'm very confused as to what they're doing right now. Um What what are these lurkers doing? There's there's goat herd. There, you just draw a billion cards with a goat herd cuz all your I mean, y yeah. But like this goat herd's just gonna draw, draw, draw. Okay, well I'm, I'm I'm very confused. So here I am. Hunting party's a good card, right? I'm not making that up. Okay, I must be making up the fact that hunting party's a good card. Can we please buy hunting party, please? <laughs> no, hold on. Hunting party is not 2013. All right. <laughs> I'm I'm a little. I'm definitely confused by the lack of hunting parties. Alright, time for Triple Lurker again. Oh my god, he actually bought a Lurker. <laughs> I was joking. <laughs> oh 
All right. Well, they're playing a different game than I um than I was considering personally. Can you please buy a hunting party? Please buy a hunting party. Buy two hunting parties right now. Two of them. Do it. Double hunting party right now. Go. Oh my god. What? How are... So, when I... When I, um, looked at this board, one thing I, I never considered would ever happen is that the lurkers would be gone before a single hunting party was bought. This was not a thing that I had considered as a possibility. And yet, here we are. Here we are. This is the world we do find ourselves in. Hunting party is so 2013. Get out of here with your with your cold takes. <laughs> oh, that's 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 complete sarcasm. I know. Um, I'm very confused by what they're doing in this game. I, I do not understand what's happening. Uh, they must be really concerned about tower points, right? Right. Well, the thing Bueller? is, well, right now the game's almost over. Like this this oh, hunting, yeah. this uh, lurker or silk merchant rush is really uh. Now I actually think it is too late for hunting party. Yeah, no, now now the game's almost over. Which this is this is all confused me very much. Surely you play the silk merchant, okay. And now do you win here? Um uh, you're one gain short? Five I saw of one gain and some you're number of money. Also quite a bit of money. Yeah, quite a bit of money. Oh, how what you are playing with fire, S Smart. You're lowering goat herds you're lowering goat herds to to five? But you, you don't trash this estate because you need the points. You're gonna win the game this turn. Yeah, yeah, you need the points there. You um, might want the I don't maybe you don't need the point, I don't know. Um, um oh no, he doesn't oh. have he doesn't have nearly enough. Never mind. He has no economy at all. Oh, his deck is terrible. Okay, great. Um but these decks minute, are so wait a minute. You can gain two embargoes. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Point wise. What's the what's the goat herd count? Three, two... No, don't, doesn't, no, sorry, it's not even close. Me, not even close. Because you can't gain any of these. Yeah, they don't, they don't count for points is the problem. Um... <laughs> this is so weird. Hey, you can, um... You can worm a couple things and empty the goat herds. You, you, you can't... Emptying goat herds only scores you, like, um... Relatively... Two, point. points, two points relatively, right? Oh yeah, two, two, because you buy one of them. Yeah. yeah so lose by four. Um. So then that's still eight, Z. six points short, which is definitely you not could, any close. You can get two embargoes. What are you embargoing? Curse. And then you can buy. How nine. do you how are you scoring points if you do, if you empty curses? figure that out later <laughs> um sh sh sure also you Look, can't you can't even empty curses here can you uh can't you two embargoes no, you're, you're one two embargoes and three buys short. only gets you nine curses <laughs> um is there anything in the trash right now i don't think so no actions yeah i'm i'm highly confused by their play this game <laughs> But I'm pretty sure S Smart just wins next turn, right? I don't think there's anything JLs can do. Yeah. Um, pr I mean, play for a dud, I guess. I, um, I like hope like. Yes, you I, can like gain three goat herds here and hope that S Smart. I don't think there's. How do you? How do you get eight? How do you get eight estates? You have no, no economy. <laughs> you can get. Like. Five or six estates. This watchtower is really looking pretty bad, huh? You get like five or six estates with Worm. You can, I guess, head to trying to get eight estates next turn. But um, like that isn't even, that's only enough to tie the score anyway. And you went first. Um. Shoof. Yeah, I don't see anything. I see nothing. Uh, I see. Think, 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 think. Resign. I uh, I think resign does not lower his odds of winning very much, if at all. Yeah, I mean it would 
the only equity it loses is your opponent is um, going to play really badly. I mean, if, if Esmar is sitting on, like, literally no draw cards, really? which is very unlikely, um, but I don't even know how J Nails plays for a win next turn. Well, like, if Esmar has no draw cards, he's got to have at least one, or they've got to have at least one money, right? Yeah. They could, like, buy province. Yeah, like, I, I see literally no conceivable out for J Nails. Ooh, top deck. What? But why we can dip? What's diplomat do? Uh, what is a different pile to go after? I have no but idea. it's it's not um. <laughs> Wait, I'm I'm a little confused by what diplomat does. It. Um, it gives him like terminals for next turn. He it, take it's, two. It's it's a village. Wait wait wait, village. wait 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 wait. This might actually work because he does need the village. That gets him an extra two actions. Okay, silver yeah, is not what a, I was thinking. It's it's a village to get you more um, worm plays. Yes, Mostly. that's that's what it does. Um, but I don't think that's enough. So if I'm S smart, I probably just play this silk merchant first and then think think later. Wait, is that a win in hand? Oh, it's win on states yet. Yeah, sorry, it's the state win. I missed it. Okay, but yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, do this. That's just as good as anything else. It's yeah, it, it's at least as good as anything else and better than some things. Um, I think there's like given the rest of his deck, I think it's impossible for him to not find a win there. Withdrawing I mean, with that could, silk you merchant. Could choose something that doesn't win. I guess. Yes, but I think there was no way he could draw two cards that took away the possibility of winning. Is what I was saying. Uh, yeah, that that sounds right. Um, regardless, what he did was a quicker way to win. So I applaud you, S Smart, for finding the quicker the quicker win. I mostly applaud you for finding a guaranteed win. I mean, finding a win Find there is, one, is pretty trivial. <laughs> All right, last game, possibly. I have no idea what the format of this is. I think it's first to three wins. I could be wrong. I don't know. I thought it was first to three wins. Uh, Orchard. So, three of everything strats? This looks a lot like you want three of literally every action. Except maybe Bishop. Or maybe maybe not Farmer's Market. No, probably Farmer's probably Market. Bishop. The, the farmer's market's hard to keep a hold of that. Yeah, that's the issue. Okay, three uh, everything else, though. You, you definitely want at least three horses. You probably won't get three wisps. Um, you know what? Three wisps is not impossible. I would, I would love to have three wisps, Well, the, I don't the, think it's likely. The, the problem with three wisps is if I have three wisps, you have three wisps. Well, you could refuse them? You could, but you won't. Maybe you don't want to gain a wisp because then your opponent can react to their falconer. Um, ooh, that's a tricky little interaction, isn't it? That's the 12 million IQ play. <laughs> uh, falconer seems pretty solid here. There are quite a few dual types that you want. Yeah, with one, two, three, four. Oh, J. Niels gets five, the 5 2, seven. hits the slay falconer open, which seems actually pretty good to me. Seems quite good to me. Yeah. Um, Magpie Fishing Village is okay. I mean, yeah. I guess I guess it's, that's what I would open on a 4-3, I think, but it seems less impressive than the Falconer open. Another Fishing Village. Oh, did S-Smart just... Oh, never mind. I thought S-Smart, um, some Brewer, but I, I missed the Fishing Village play. Uh, I would take a Falconer as my first five, I think, pretty yeah. decisively. Uh, although J Nails gets to react, which is super good. What do you take here? Yeah, Magpie? I don't think you can really play around. Magpie or Fishing yeah. Village? Um, it's unclear. I think Magpie's fine. Fishing Village was also reasonable, I think. Uh, Fishing Village now, though, is pretty good. And two horses, yeah. J Nails seems pretty, pretty well off already to me take a diplomat here um diplo's diplo's a little awkward with horses 
I don't like buying another magpie. Um, yeah, it's not super exciting. All right, this is nice. Um, do you play the sleigh here and buy like a, a diplomat? Or, or fishing village? Maybe fishing village. Maybe fishing village is better. Yeah. I assume you don't play the falconer um, with your normal action phase, regar regardless. Yeah. yeah. I think I like the fishing village more, but it's not a little unclear to me. Well, like I'm getting two cards here, right? Am I getting? Maybe I'm getting two fishing villages. I don't know. Um. I think sleigh is really good here too, though. Uh, horses or horses seem very reasonable. Yeah. Gained a magpie. I don't like it. I don't think the magpie just does all that much. It's fine, but whatever. Like I just I want to spend my real gains on other stuff and let magpies gain bank themselves. On my bank on my magpie getting at least three. I'm not that worried about you know getting mm -hmm. six. Does S Smart have I... two falconers now? Is that what happened? Uh, uh... I think I like that. I think falconer is just really really strong oh. here. Yeah, I do too. Um, even a third falconer right now seems totally reasonable to me. What else would you get? You could get a carriage, maybe. Uh, or carriage is also fine. Maybe. I don't see. Note that all all of those allow falconer to react. Yeah. Oh, they're all they all they're all dual types. They are. Yeah. Um, I would maybe yes. maybe carriage over falconer here. Uh, I don't like you the want... grove now. I don't think. You want like three of every action on the board and seven of them are dual, dual types? types yeah i think the only reason I, I was thinking i wanted falconer over carriage is just for the reaction um because i feel like you're going to be reacting with them a lot yeah i think you're going to react with them way more than well not more than you play them technically because reacting them does let you play them but um you know I mean. But I know, I know what you mean, yes. The the reaction versus the action play. Okay. Um, I kind of want another... I, I could see almost any action card that you can buy here getting bought. Still probably not Bishop, but Bishop's becoming a little more tempting to me. Uh, but I don't think I'm at want, wanting Bishop yet. Kings of Diplomat's pretty nice there. Uh, certainly play this Magpie. It's a great shuffle to trigger. Yep. Um, unfortunately, did not draw any of the good stuff again, but it's fine. But fortunately, can I have a Falconer for for reacting next turn? Well, J Nels knows they have a Falconer too now. Yeah, but what are you gonna do? I mean, not okay, get yeah. A dual type. <laughs> you could gain a. Is Chariot Race a dual type? No, Chariot Race is a, is a no, Chariot type. Chariot Race is is one of the two actions left on the board that isn't along with bishop. Mm -hmm. I do... I would love to thin here, but I don't want to gain a bishop is the problem. Did he just bottom deck? One of his magpies is, is bottom decked. Or one of his um, uh, falconers is bottom decked. Eventually you're going to get to the point where your opponent isn't going to have many bad cards in their starting hand. Right. Because it's, you know, a five-card hand, and then bishop starts to look more attractive. The problem is you take a bishop over other things. Like, bishop, oh, is, yeah. just, bishop is still competing with some good stuff. I'm, I'm not getting it yet, but I will I get it. I don't love that grove. I think, like, another falconer was... Or another falconer carriage there was fine. Yeah, I, I, I kind of want... Also, he didn't, call, he didn't call his um carriage last turn, which is a little weird to me. He's going to call it... On this turn. Yeah. And by this turn, I mean Jay Nails' this turn. Um, okay, well, can you do that? Can't? Oh, you can do that, can't you? Uh, uh, actually, I should read the rule. Directly after you finish playing an action card. An action card, if it's still in play. Yeah, it doesn't say anything about it being in your turn. Um, it doesn't say if you play it as an action, because you're you're playing Falconer, but you're playing it with the reaction, but it is an well, action all, card. There's, there's no such thing as playing something as an action. It always mm -hmm. is an action. Right. Yeah, okay, yeah, I guess you can react on... on when uh... you play Crown in your buy phase, you're playing an action. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, definitely uh, react with this Falconer here. And you want to top deck 
something with this like is he top deck to the falconer that he just bought yeah wait couldn't he have put the falconer in hand and immediately played it yes that seems better yeah he could have played that falconer this turn right like that's how that works because you're still in the whole reaction window I believe so i think you can um well, at, at the very least you could react the sleigh then react no yeah you definitely can all right, well, more Falconers. I want, like, a lot of Falconers on this board. I'm, I'd probably stop after three, because I want to move on. Well, sure. I want more Slay. I'm, I'm actually surprised. I'm surprised by the lack of Slays. Like, Slay seems to be a pretty solid card to me on this board. Wow. You called on Magpie? Well, he had to He had to call it at that point, I think, but I don't think I that's... I guess he hadn't called it on when he reacted, which seems bad. Yeah, I, I agree. I mean, I guess there is some kind of diplomat consideration, but it still seems... Yeah. This is a... I think this board is a little tricky to play, because you kind of just want it's everything. It's very tricky to play, because you want everything, but getting it in the right order is kind of important. Yeah, it's, it's the I want everything, but I don't know when to buy what, and everything seems, like, kind of reasonable all the time. I think you mean everything is awesome. Uh, everything is awesome. Yes, that's what I mean. And... I could take another Slay. Or another Diplomat's fine, too. Well, probably... I, mm. I really like Slay. I like... I think Slay is a great card on this board. I'm surprised... It also helps you get Horse Orchard. Yes. I'm actually surprised they only have um, one Slay bot between the two of them right now. I guess the thing with Slay is it doesn't draw this turn, but I don't think that's a huge I issue. Don't care. Ooh, Earth is nice. I'm not sure which one of them it's nicer for. Um, I want to say J Nails. I'm gonna but guess J Nails. J -Nails doesn't actually have a diplomat in hand right now, so that's kind of sad. Um, well, yes, he does with Slay, right? Oh, hey, I guess. I kind of wanted to play the Slay, but this will do. Uh, I think this is probably better than playing Slay. It probably is. Slay is a very tricky card. I think there's a lot of nuance to Slay. I want my sweet, sweet horse orchard. <laughs> You'll get there. You'll get there. Alright, Falconer can gain... Um... What does he need for? I don't. I'm not keeping track of their um, orchard. their orchard points at all. They both have diplomat, falconer, fishing village, orchard. I think they both yeah. have two chariot races. Is that correct? I have no idea. Um, S smart has no. S smart must have three. Because he has got three more points, and Jnails has one VP. Chip. Oh yeah, he has he has one other um, orchard set. Well, no, who so has, has an extra orchard set? Well, doesn't it doesn't isn't carriage? Doesn't Smart have all three carriages? Wait, hold on. What am no. I saying? Jnails just played a carriage. Listen, I can't be I can't be asked to to read the chat. To remember that, the that, last that, card that was that, played. The la I can't I can't remember the last line of chat. Okay, that's insane. That is really, it's not, it's not a reasonable ask. Um, that bishop is pretty good there, I think. Because he gets to... It does activate this He does get to act in activate way, diplomat. I don't think particularly, oh, well, not if you do this. Oh, that's interesting. Farmer's Market? Uh, that's fine also. Yeah. I like true. having the buy. So you play the bishop, you play the Farmer's Market, then you play the diplomat. Boom, yeah. it activates. Um... Man, what a tricky board. So, I'm assuming Jane Ailes is going to do that. What do you trash if you're S smart? Um, I guess the estate, right? I mean... I don't see a... Well, the piles are definitely very low. Think so? I'm not sure... Um, should, you take should farmers market here? That's what I was actually just, just going to suggest that. I think it's the four points might be relevant. Well, I kind of mostly just want the third buy. 
Um, well, it's four. Yes, the third buy in four points. I think um, getting farmers market seems just strictly better than anything else, right? I mean, I don't know about not strictly, but like it seems like significantly better than anything else. Taking the four points and it gets rid of so like now when S Smart plays their farmers market, right? They don't lose the farmers market, and so that there's orchard point considerations. Yeah, that's it's maybe that's quite so straightforward. It's, this board is complicated. It's a very complicated board. It's breaking my brain a little bit. Um, Janelle's does have an 11 point lead right now, which is pretty good. It's gonna make it hard so for could, S Smart to pile. You could Falconer for Slay, react Falconer to get another Slay, play one Slay to get two horses, react the other Slay to put horse to into put hand. Those horses in your hand and play the horse. Is that is that better than gaining just like? Diplomat Bishop and playing on? I don't know. I mean, Diplomat Bishop lowers the Diplomat pile is the biggest downside. And the, the double slay gets you closer to new sets of orchards. So. Yeah, this is true. This is true. Like, I, I'm genuinely unsure. Everything is very... um Awesome. Yes, everything is very awesome, but also very confusing right now. Oh wait, the diplomat thing doesn't even work. Oh, that's just a bad, bad order. I don't like. Um, I guess it doesn't matter if these. I don't are love cards. those games personally. I kind of strongly dislike them. Yeah, I don't know about those games. They didn't seem to do anything. I wanted uh, to. So, a uh, carriage would complete an orchard set for S Smart here, I think. Uh, carriage slay right now seems perfectly reasonable to me. Yeah, you could have kept going, but maybe. Yes, he could. He could have played on. Yeah. Um. Ooh, Janiel's duds a little bit. Um. I, mean, I don't think that's that surprising. That's also the third carriage for Janiel's. I think. Um. Yes, he just he just pointed up. I think. Um. This seems like a bad order to me. I wanted to play the fishing village before. The diplomat. Maybe it doesn't. Um. Do it was fine. All right, well, I guess we can look for wins, but I don't... I'm a little skeptical that there's a win here. Uh, do you want to play Diplomat next or Chariot Race next, knowing that there's uh, a Fishing Not Village? Chariot Race. I don't, think, I don't think Fishing Village is a good enough target for Chariot Race. I would have played Diplomat first, I think. Yeah, I think so, too. But it's not trivial. I want to play the Diplomat next here. Yeah, I, I don't... I'm worried about running out of action. You have six actions. I want to have more information now. And I'm going to play the Sacred Grove. Yep. See what we get. Yep, yep, yep. I mean, I'm definitely looking for wins here, but it's um it's pretty difficult. If you get a good boon, maybe. Uh, what is a good boon? A squirrel mod. Uh, wind's gift. <laughs> yeah, I can see that one. Oh, you can rack with Slay to put Slay into your hand. Well, the thing about the Slay is you can play both slays and boom that's an orchard set that is four points so that puts him six points down but he was still need to pile somehow and i don't see any way that's reasonable like, my guess at this point I, I still wanted to play the grove first but like you could stop here play slay play slay play grove by province, by province slay. slay yeah i like that line i mean i'd much rather play the grove first um, yeah, playing Grove first makes significantly more sense. Because maybe there's a boon that will change your line, right? Yeah. Certainly um, do the thing that adds information before you do the things that don't add information. But I would expect Province Flay at this point. This seems to be what, what S Smart is heading for. I guess it could be Double Grove, but that seems... No, I think Province Flay is going away the best line. Is province slay and does take a four point lead thanks to that and double falconer coming up okay right. this is a this is a game oh it's definitely a game definitely a game it's a it's a game of dominion um is that what it's called never knew no no it's not i'm just messing with you <laughs> okay well i guess we'll never know the true name of the game
Um, taking that diplomat is really, Whoa, I was, really I was dicey. I expecting taking bishop there. Um, and bishoping in a state, trying to buy a third bishop in a... In a I guess it's only a second well, slave. Well, I mean, but... playing the diplomat is kind of like playing for, playing for the win now, which might not be impossible. Oh, right? I thought you were going to say playing for the loss now. Well, no, no, no. I, uh, I mean, it's, all, it's playing for the win or the loss, I guess you could say it that way. He might be able to find a win here. Um, actually, no. That's four more points. That's four more points there for uh, S Smart. That's a lot of hard. points now. Yeah. I mean, assume you play Farmer's Market there's Diplomat here. Like, there's no reason not to, right? Very little reason not to. Because you have a... Oh, he has a carriage. Um, I guess you... Pro... Mm. You well, might consider... I, might, I would consider carriaging the Farmer's Market, actually. Yeah. Um, I don't know why you don't carriage the Farmer's Market. Like, an extra four coins and a buy here seems... Like, that seems significantly worse to carriage, right? To me... But we'll see what happens. Like, this has got to be Bishop now, right? Oh, uh, for sure, Bishop. Bishop um, for state, then play the Diplomat. Yeah, it seems pretty clear. I guess there's there could be more carriages. Maybe you want to try to draw them before you play your Bishop. Um, seems kind of thin. Mm. All right, let's look for wins again. That was a good... Falconer for Diplomat Fishing Village. Um, you can also just play the diplomat first and see what you draw. Um, if you falconer for farmer's market. Um. Oh wait, you can get four points if you falconer for farmer's market and then carriage the farmer's market. Do you have a carriage down? Yeah, he does still, right? Oh no, sorry, he burned oh. it. Never mind. Ignore me. Oh, that carriage is sad. Is that enough? No, it's definitely not enough. No, it's you got a province and. Dutchy, I think. Would have been fine if he had the next extra buy in four coins. Although he wouldn't have done other things with this turn if he did that. And, um... Has to be Dutchy, right? I'm... I think S-Smart's just gonna win. Um, I'm gonna assume S-Smart very, very easily wins on their turn. From... In fact, I think J Nails knows that S Smart can empty the fishing villages while scoring. Well, I guess that loses the farmer's market orchard points. Um. Anyway, you've got to buy Dutchie here. Well, playing that farmer's market is point neutral then. Playing the the fourth one. Yeah. Um. I mean, S Smart's definitely going to win. Yes, I don't. I don't see any reasonable way that S Smart misses. Um. So I guess. Dutchy is the only thing that makes even a little bit of sense there for J Nails. It's the only thing that I think you're not sure. I guess you're not entirely sure. That definitely. Um. Um. Well, that helps. An extra point there. Yeah, I don't think you needed it, but. Um. For. Oh, you, you definitely win now. If you just play the farmers markets. Um, is that like enough? Buy out. The, buy out the farmers markets. Oh yeah, that's plenty. Seven, that's that scores that scores fifty. Yeah, you could even play the bishop uh, on the magpie for fun if you want. Bishop the magpie, maybe I don't know. I mean, there, there's. Oh, you even have another carriage down. Yeah, there's there's a lot of lines that win here. Yeah. Uh, I was. So how about that thunder dominion? <laughs> what? Yes, Thunder Dominion. Um, he's thinking pretty hard. I, I think like I see like at least three different lines that win right now. I'm struggling to find a line that doesn't win. <laughs> Um, all right, let's find a line I mean, that doesn't other win. Than, other than, you know, like, uh, deciding to buy curses or something, you know, like, I'm, I'm struggling to find, like, a series of action plays that doesn't lead at the end to, I can empty one of probably multiple piles. I believe win. he can, I believe he can four pile here and still have enough points to win. Um. Right, he can, he can play, um, I, he can play four farmer's markets, right? No, he only has zero carriages down at the moment. 
Um, right, he, he played... Oh, never mind. He called the Karazhan Diplomat. All right, never mind. Um, so, so this magpie would need to draw something to four-pile, but whatever, you don't need to four-pile. Well, no, we need the four-pile, all right? Come on, believe in yourself. Uh, what is... I mean, can uh, Janels even score a Falconer? Maybe? Um, if he has, like... I guess two Falconers. He would actually no. We'll, we'll, we'll roll a carriage down. Actually, bishops. two two slaves does score, or two bishops would score. So technically, he could score four. So. Sure, this is responsible. I guess. So, uh, sure, he can play now. He can just take the fishing villages. Or the farmers markets. Or the farmers markets. I guess that scores technically more than the. He could have scored four more points. He did score four more. Points. Oh, never mind. The Forget it. First market at the end. It didn't matter. It doesn't right. matter. Is that all of them? Is that the game? That Jay Niels thinks it's the match. And as Smart also thinks it's the match. Well, so I guess it's the end of the match. Who am I to argue? Congratulations, S Smart. I believe you're going to the finals. The finals? Is that correct? I don't. I don't know what tournament this is, but this, I think it said semifinal. I think it's friendly mix. Um, I can look at the the bracket here. Um, it looks like they're playing uh, NA Smith 99 for the finals. So good luck then, and I will. I don't know. I don't know if I'll see you or not, but till next I probably time. Probably won't. You you might hear me.